Hey everybody, it's me, Comic Crack. Um, just read this tonight, and I wanted to do a quick uh, little video about it. Uh, Jacques Tardy and Jean Patrick Manchette, um, the author who did the novel that uh, Fatal was based on from uh, one of my previous videos. Um, before I do that, uh, I wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, Rez, R-E-S. Uh, I've been watching a lot of her videos lately. She's big into European comics and uh, she's been picking up a bunch of old heavy metals and stuff. Um, she's got quite a few videos under her belt already and one hell of a, a taste in comics uh, in general leaning more towards European comics and things. Um, I'll try to remember to leave a link, but uh, you should definitely check her out if you don't know about her already. Um, so I guess first things first, I am not familiar with a lot of Tardy stuff. Uh, I've read little bits and pieces here and there, but not a hell of a lot. Um, one thing that I found interesting reading the back matter, it turns out that Tardy had started on a... Uh, uh, adaptation is the word I'm looking for of Fatal as well that didn't get anywhere uh, which I wasn't aware of and he did also Run Like Crazy Run Like Hell I believe that was another Manchette uh, Manchette was a big kind of comics fan and he did a lot of translations he was responsible for the what does it say here um uh, tough mind, a highly acclaimed crime novels, as well as a multitude of other books, screenplays, teleplays, and magazine columns, and translations of American crime and science fiction novels. A lifetime, co a lifelong comics fan, he also wrote the hard-boiled graphic novel, blah, 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 uh, and in the late 1980s, he was selected to translate the French edition of Watchmen. Uh, there you go, that's the nugget that I stumbled through to get to. Um, I've had a couple of rums, forgive me. Um... So, what's the book like? Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, this one was actually pretty f funny at parts, like darkly funny. Uh, again, I mean, realizing that I'm coming in blind to this writer. Um, I'm coming in a little bit blind to Tardy. Not not a lot, um, but I'm, I'm really coming in blind to the writer. And something that I saw right away was the very descriptive uh, style of writing we open with our main character and then we talk about his name we talk about uh, how much he's had to drink um, we've talked about the barbiturates that he's taken we've talked about how fast he's driving 90 miles per hour um, he's not yet 40 years old his car is a steel gray mercedes the color of its upholstery is mahogany as are the rest of its interiors etc etc so again we see a lot of this detailed uh, play by play kind of uh, narration that goes on and that kind of progresses through the entire book the interesting twist is that he's just kind of a salesman that gets kind of roped in you know sort of like a Hitchcock type of thing um, an innocent bystander so to speak that gets roped into this world and all of a sudden there are, he's a witness to a crime and then the people responsible for it come to get him or are sent by this gentleman to get him. Um, the killers <laughs> that come to get him are quite a pair. One of them is a huge uh, comics fan and reader. And throughout the book, he's reading The Strange, uh, which I guess was the, the French translations of the American comics, I believe. Um, and then he's reading Spider-Man. And at one point, when he has to deliver kind of a... Uh, a eulogy to his friend who was killed. He thinks he can think of nothing to say, so he pulls out a Spider-Man comic and starts reading from that. Um, so we get all these details about everybody's life. The one detail that we don't get is why... Uh, why the crime that he witnessed was happening to begin with. I mean, we get a very broad scope of why it happened but we don't go into nearly the amount of detail uh, into that which 
is because it's it's very minor in the whole story. The the why isn't really minor. What's really more important here's that here's that section where he has to deliver the eulogy, finds a Spider Man comic and just starts reading from it. Um, the sight of Carlo's spare set of cocky briefs has moved him to tears. A little bit of a homoerotic stuff too with these two kind of gangsters. Uh, the the reason why the crimes took place isn't as important as the fact of our main character has been thrown out of his life that he's not completely happy with. He's pretty miserable. At one point, it's great. He he gets a sweater made for him, and it's really just Charlie Brown. I mean, it's it's Charlie Brown's sweater. An unbelievably funny moment, I thought, anyway. Um, he's thrown out of his life and sent into this adventure, and then... I don't really want to say too much more about it. I don't want to kind of spoil the, the ending for you. Uh, it was a really quick read and actually a really, really good read. I really enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I might have to give Run Like Crazy, Run Like Hell another chance uh, because I didn't make it very far into that one because I the, the style of writing just wasn't working for me. Uh, but now that I've read a couple and I'm familiar a little bit with his style, try to focus it there, um, I think I'll give it another chance. One of the shops downtown, uh, Comic Factory is where I picked this one up. Uh, he's got a couple, like a number of tardy stuff. He's got a, a lot of great books actually. Um, so I, I grabbed this one from him. Yeah, what can I say? Um... A great pairing of two books especially reading both so close together I think really helped in getting into the flow of his writing style I've also since watched The Gunman which was a uh, Sean Penn starred in it um, it was a uh, adaptation of a Manchette novel and it was horrible um, in the back here they they talk about a few of the films just very briefly I think there was three French films that were based on his works and only one is considered by kind of fans of Manchette. Only one was considered to have done it any sort of justice whatsoever. Um, and there was no mention of the gunman. I, maybe when this came out, actually, what did it say in here? Maybe that, that would be why I believe this was 2009. So of course that makes total sense because the gunman was brand new, I think last year. Um, but yeah, I'd say stay away from the gunman. It was, it was pretty fucking awful. And one of my biggest pet peeves about any movies that I end up not liking these days is not only what it was was it awful, but it was also about two hours long, which just drives me absolutely fucking mental. Um, 89 minutes. It's a great number. It's a great time for a movie. Anyway, West Coast Blues. Uh, check it out. It's, of course, Fanagraphics, if I didn't say that already. Um, yeah, really, really great read. Uh funny as all hell at some parts and then uber violent with his interesting comic style uh, almost sloppy at points but really has a character of its own uh yeah that's about it thank you very much for watching we'll talk to you